I think these videos are dangerous for people. This is why I kind of have a hard time knowing which direction to go with this channel even in the future because I don't want to, number one, make the same video every time, but number two, I don't want to be producing content that's not good for people's mental health. So since I haven't been working on any truth stuff lately, what I've been doing is I've been going to like garage sales and thrift stores and, and the Goodwill bins. Man, let me tell you, the Goodwill bins, if you've never heard of it, that's an adventure, dog. That's a whole nother thing if you've been to Goodwill but haven't been to the bins. The bins is the fucking trenches, man. But anyway, I've been, so now I've been, yeah, here's one of them right here. I've been watching these like reseller videos and they teach you like, this is what people are buying. Look at this thing here. They paid 20 bucks at Goodwill, sold it on eBay. 190 bucks and nine dollars shipping so this reselling and everything is really satiating my need to always be learning new things and then i'm actually able to go apply it into the real world i'm able to go out here look for this shirt or something like it and then i know if i find something like this this one's 210 dollars this person found it at goodwill for three uh this whatever this is harley davidson rain gear set this is the sold price, $110. They bought it at a yard sale for $15 and sold it in a day. And in this reseller community, everyone in these comments is helping everyone else. They're like, hey man, they're helping them identify what these products are, how they listed it, how they cleaned it up. It's a great community. I'm just on the videos yet. I'm not, this is part of a Facebook group and then she makes a video about it. So I'm not in this like community online yet, but it's amazing to watch these people. Like everyone's got each other's back. If they find some at a garage sale, they're not sure what it is. They'll list it in the group and the other people help them and want to see them help them make money and help them learn. That's the exact opposite of the truth community. The truth community is everyone's just tearing everybody down all the time and everything, you know, and you could say I'm part of that too, but I would just say I'm calling out bullshit. And that's what the truth community to me is supposed to be about. And I would say, if you're talking about truth, that's an objective thing, then that is what it's about. It's not just what I feel like it's about. It's about let's call out bullshit. Let's call out agents. Let's call out people that are promoting hopelessness and helplessness. Let's call out people that sound like schizophrenics and let's use some proofs and back up what we have to say and not just say, oh, Drew works for China with no proofs and nothing to back it up. It's such a night and day difference. These people are helping each other get money. Any truther gets a monetized channel or one super chat and oh, fuck you, you're a fucking shill. The truth is supposed to be fucking free. Who the fuck are you to sell the truth? You fucking shill piece of shit. It's sick, man. It's, it's mentally deranged people. And I think it's a dangerous community at this point. There is great people in it too. So there almost has to be a, <laughs> there almost has to be like a breakaway civilization from the truth community into something else. You know what I'm saying? Cause this shit is sick, man. I think it's real sick. I would rather make money and have people teach me real things that I can do in the real world instead of just know about some you know these uh pillars and all this other mysteries and then just shit you know about it but you're not applying it to anything to see any tangible real world results it's all art man i want i don't want to learn how to drink piss <laughs> i want to learn how to make a hundred dollars and 10 minutes you know what I'm saying this money's out here this whether you like money or not it doesn't matter <laughs> what about the hat clash <laughs> that was her proof her, her proof that I worked for China was that I had a Soviet hat <laughs> Aphrodite I promise I have no problem with you if you if you want to present some evidence that I work for China I'll be happy to hear it and refute it I promise you want to present something but you need a proof you can't just be like oh well i feel like 